Hi everyone, Chef Toby here. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade egg pasta. I will be doing this by hand. The only tool that you will need is a pasta roller. I will be using the one that a dear friend of mine gave me. So let's go ahead and start. You'll be able to find the full list of ingredients you'll need in the description box as well as in the video. So I got a cup of flour in the bowl. Add to this have a teaspoon of salt and I have here two eggs I'm going to add the eggs to the flour as well as a couple of tablespoons of water I'm, gonna add I'm just going to mix you can use a food processor or a mixer, but I wanted to make this video more for people that don't have those type of uh, equipment at their home. So I'm going to keep mixing this. It's coming together as a dough. But it's still sticky. I can tell just by looking at it. So I'm going to add a little bit of flour. Um, I've listed two cups of flour in the ingredients. But you're not, probably not going to use all of it. So I added about a quarter cup more flour. And what I'm going to do is sprinkle just a little bit of flour here on my surface. About three tablespoons of the flour. And I'm going to dump everything else out of the bowl onto the surface. Use your hands. And we're going to start working the dough with our hands. So I'm kneading the dough by turning it and pressing the dough together. And I'm, I'm doing this on my silicone mat here. It's a silicone baking mat. It just makes cleanup a lot easier. So I'm kneading here. I'm going to spread away this excess flour right here because there's little pieces of the dough. I'm going to sprinkle some more flour now. Not too much because we're going to slowly add the flour in here just into the dough. It doesn't feel too sticky but you don't want it too dry. So it feels like the dough is no longer sticky so I'm going to knead this for a few minutes. The more you knead it the more the dough starts to come together. Okay, and my mat will stop moving around now. Still a little bit sticky. Still kind of sticky to my finger right here. Put a little bit more flour now. The more you knead it, the more the texture of the dough begins to develop. Still a little bit sticky. A little bit more flour. So the dough is starting to come together. My counter is clean. I'm just getting a little bit frustrated because time is going by here. So we're just going to do this on the counter. Sprinkle a little bit more flour. Knead the dough. I'm going to knead the dough for about 10 minutes. Don't put too much flour in it. As you the dough starts to develop, the texture will change and you may have to add more flour. We're going to knead this for a total of about 8 minutes. Okay, it's starting to stick to my hand again. Let's see, I'll show you. Let's see how I can see it. See, it's sticking to my hand again. So I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. I got a total of two cups of flour, but I'm slowly using this flour from out the second cup. I don't think we're gonna need no more flour. We'll see.
Okay, it's starting to stick to my hand again a little bit. Just a couple more. About a tablespoon of flour, fill it onto the surface. Okay, so I'm going to scoop away this excess flour here. As soon as it is no longer sticking to your hands, you want it to be kind of sticky, but not too sticky. Or it's just easy to work with, like you see here. It's not sticking to my counter. Okay, it's starting to stick to my hand again. Add a little bit more flour. Just enough flour where you can knead it in. So it's been like five minutes now, and the dough texture has began to, has really changed a lot. See how the dough is starting to look smooth? It's still a little rough. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. Look at that dough. So it's now Since I am a huge fan of recycling, instead of using plastic wrap, I'm going to use an old, clean grocery bag. Let this rest for 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is cut the dough into fours. I'm going to take the other dough, the leftover, the remaining dough. And I'm just going to uh, cover that with the plastic. So I got a small piece of dough here. I'm going to um, shape it into a round. And also the importance of letting the dough rest is so you can work with the dough so the dough will stretch easily. So I'm going to take a little bit of flour. I'm going to rub it on the dough. You want to set this to where the hole's the widest, whatever number that is on your machine. Mine's is number nine, or number one is the widest hole. Okay, this is the hole right here in the middle. That's the widest. And then the more I change it, you see it's getting, the hole is closing together more. And that's on my setting nine. So on my machine, I am on number one. I just adjusted it back to number one. You see the hole there. I know it's hard to see because of the reflection, but that's my gap. And I'm going to, my dough's been floured. You see it's not sticking to my hands. I'm going to run it through the machine. Just don't pull on the dough as it comes out the machine. Just let it gently fall down. So I want you guys to see this really good. I've seen a couple of videos where people were like, oh, my machine's not working right because it sticks. It's not the machine, it's you. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the dough and work like that. Pull this part over like that, and then I'm going to rub more flour. So I rub more flour on both sides of the dough, and I'm going to feed it into the machine. Just work your machine, burn it, and we'll come through it. So now I'm going to run it through again, one more time. 
just catch it at the bottom. So I'm going to go on the next setting, next sentence. All the way down to number, this is number two now. Take some of the flour off the counter here. Rub it on your dough. Then we're going to roll it through the machine. Okay, don't pull your dough as it's coming out. Just allow it to fall through naturally. Then I'm going to go to the next lower setting. I'm going to run the dough through. As it's getting a little bit longer, I'm going to rub it down with a little bit more flour. I'm going to flip it. Rub that side down. I'm going to adjust the machine, machine again to the next tight setting. Just allow the dough to fall through naturally. Don't pull your dough. Just keep rolling it. Okay. I'm going to go through the same number again. Just allow it to go through the machine naturally. You need to slide your dough and do so. Now I'm going to go to the next finish setting. But before I go into the next setting, I'm going to adjust the machine again. Rub it down with more flour. Rub the flour. Uh, dough down with more flour. Feed it through the machine. Now you get the, the, so now as it's starting to get thinner and thinner, just keep doing this till you get your the dough as thin as you want it. I think I want mine on eight because I'm going to make fettuccine. Okay, so that's for pasta. I just laid this on my, I don't know if you can see that, on my baking tray. Sorry for the view. But before I put it on my baking tray, let's see how we can get it to be even in size. I'm going to cut the dough in half. I know that was a crooked cut, but okay, so I can show you the dough better on the tray. So do that with your remaining four or your remaining three pieces of uh, dough. This is going to sit on the tray. Um, if you feel like your dough is going to stick to the tray, sprinkle your tray down with um, flour or um, so line it with parchment paper and sprinkle it with flour. And we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. Um, so I'll be back. Also, if you find that your pasta is starting to get a little bit too wide for the machine, just cut it in half. That's all you got to do. Okay, so I'm going to touch my fettuccine ruler on here. Okay, so I'm going to feed the pasta through now.
beautiful. Look at that. Okay, got you guys another view here. Just feed your pasta through. And this is the importance of letting it sit after we rolled it out and flattened it. If you find your dough a little sticky, sometimes that happens, just rub it down with flour. And if you're doing this by yourself, it's good to just cut the long sheets of pasta so you can handle it. So you don't have to have another person to help you. I have my little pile of pasta right here. I sprinkle some flour on it. Just to keep it from sticking together. Just toss all that together with the flour. I got all of my pasta rolled out. I'm just going to sprinkle some more flour here all the way across the top of all of this. And just toss it together to make sure it doesn't stick. So that's how you make homemade fettuccine noodles. I will be bring, bringing you a recipe. Um, just keep in mind that if you want um, spaghetti noodles, the recipe is the same. You just use a different cutter. If you want lasagna noodles, the recipe is the same. Just leave them flat and cut your size noodles. Um, so, I have a recipe coming soon. I will show you how to cook these noodles in the next video. So, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on my social media website. So, you'll find all of the information in the description box below. And please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Please remember to live and be well. Do all you can to stop all bullying and abuse. Thank you for watching.